Thank you, Yimbo. Tonight, repaints. The tired, old, lazy practice of rehashing the same old figure. I got Red Ronin, the rogue derelict. I got him. They repainted him. It's the same figure. They barely even changed the box art. Let's check it out. Honestly, the box art is pretty freaking cool. I love it. I'm always happy for more Ben Bishop Ronin art. The red makes the teeth and goggles really pop. Sweet side art there. Literally is the same figure, just slapped on the red paint, but still pretty neat. Yeah. Different background, black to red. Need some Yimbo magic here. Thanks, Yimbo. Need some more. There's all these damn things. A little more. Thanks, buddy. He's finally free, and we can finally talk about the figure. Look at the accessories. Ah, I need more magic. Okay, now he's finally free. We got the red Tonfa. We got the red bow staff. We got the red nunchuck. We got the red Sai. We got the red sword and sheath. I can't lie, it's going to be cool to mix and match these. The red grapnel hook thing. The red hands. Here's the standard fist, because Red Ronin is wearing his fists. The red Ronin grippy hands. Ronin's wearing his grippy hands. A different head. The teeth pop, and they did lines instead of spots. That's cool. Different bandanas. Different goggles, but the same functionality. The sharp throwing star. He's got the little bomb thing. Here we go, our boy in red. I really love the look of this, honestly. The functionality, the articulation, it's all the same. The knee joint stuck a little bit. Had to force it. Team no heat. Team no heat. Works like a charm. It's fine. It's fine. I really like the play between the red and the black. It brings out the details, make things pop. Oh, I found the other head. I had it in the wrong box. Once again, the arm articulation, not very great because it's blocked by his armor. So you're not going up, basically. You're not, you're not going up ever. Kinda, I mean a little bit, but you know. Such a tanky beast of a figure. His hips move side to side. Not really any ab crunch, maybe a teeny tiny bit. Kind of doing the splits. This leg's a little tight. Pretty good though. Compare our boys again. Which do you prefer, the red or the regular Ronin? I don't know. I can't. I'm in love with both. Pop off the head. They even did the red peg joint. Nice. Getting the goggles to stay on, honestly, it's a pain in the ass. Here's the trick I do. You pull the rubber band down past the little peg for the bandana, and then you can either put the bandana in, or here's the cool red hood. There's a little peg thing in the back that slots in there. And then this way, it secures the little bandana goggles on. I really love the goggles. One thing I don't like about this figure is the sheath holder is so damn tight. The sheath fits in there on this one pretty good, but the bow staff, no, that's not going in. That's way too tight. You have to really super duper force it. I'm not going to do it. So that sucks. I wish they would have learned to make the hoop a little bigger. Get him wheeled in that katana. Slides in nice and easy. Yep. And I messed up the hood goggle thing. Yep, okay, it's fixed. Get him holding the bow staff. Sweet, the nunchucks going in the back. I do love how this figure has tons of storage for the Psy there too. Get him all kitted out. I really love this figure holding the regular sword now. Gonna be cool to mix and match these accessories as time goes on. And it's just fun to compare the two, frankly. Do you need to get this one? I don't know, Splinter can't believe it. He fits in great among all the other Ronins and I love it. I don't regret it at all. Go repaints, team repaint.